Elementor container tutorial step-by-step -step guide for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with building containers on Elementor. So let's get into it. Now, using containers on Elementor has become a popular alternative to using a intersection or a text section because these containers allow you to quickly create your web page layout in a much faster and easier method than the typical intersections. Plus, you can streamline your content, your web building workflow with Flexbox is going to be easier as well, and you can improve your page speed. Now to get started, we're just going to open up a sample page and I'll show you guys how we can get started. So let's take this page over here and click on edit with Elementor. Now there are a few differences between containers that are currently provided by Elementor versus the actual intersections that are pre-existing on the websites that you build. Usually intersections don't have that much customization. Intersections are currently going to be phased out by containers. And the Flexbox container is the main difference between intersections and containers. Now, keeping in mind that there are specific devices and screen sizes, which can be very difficult to customize in intersections. However, containers can be customized accordingly. Plus, you can define more complex layouts using containers, and you can create columns and rows, which gives you better control over the number of pages that you have, the page speed that you have, and the page design that you want. Now this is a simple refund and exchange page and you guys will see over here on the left side instead of having intersections in our layout we directly have our container now if i want to and add anything i can drag this over here now in this i can click on the columns so let's click on over here and let's say within this container you will see the box content or if i want this to be full width or if i want this to be boxed then you're going to have the width and height of each container as well so you can increase this like this. Then you have the direction, content justification, gaps, and wrap. Then below that you have additional options as well as container styles that you can customize. Now within a container you can place more content. So I can go back into my section and within this let's place another container. So you can build a container within another one like this and you can put picture in picture items. Also, you can customize the size of your content like this. So if I place this one out here and I want to place this one down below, let's say I want to place this on the side and then I can put maybe two intersections down below. So let's say I want to make this like a longer section over here and then we can adjust the width as well. And then we can make this boxed and we have our direction so we can reverse you know the direction as well of our container now let's say i'm gonna create these in fuller width so it's easier for you guys to see the content present within we're gonna place it like so and now after that let's go back in over here and we can scroll down over here we have multiple different features that we can add but let's say we want to insert an image box so you can insert an image box over here and you will see your layout in within the container so in your container you can create a grow shrink or a custom content size then you also have your paddings and margins then you also have your motion effects transform options response options and then your basic style and layout options so in your style and layout options you can go on ahead and decrease or increase the width of the items like this then you can choose to justify the content so whether or not you want this to be in the center to have space in between space around or space this evenly so let's say i want this to be centered and then you can align your items to one particular end as well then you also have the wrap of your items and then you have additional options over here now once i have placed an image within my container i can edit the container settings as well and if you take any image from your media library so let's just take this one over here and click on select now this is a full width image and i can choose the size that i want for this image as well medium large if i want this to be a full width image and then i'm just going to click on publish over here and now i can go into the advanced settings and taking a look at our entire container we can increase the width for this like so and then the height as well and you can adjust the image to fit accordingly within the container image box now if i was to do this on any other page with an intersection it would not look as sophisticated and easy to format 
So if we go back into our WordPress dashboard and go into another element or another page. So you guys can see this is our WordPress site board and we're just going to take a look at one of our other pages or just building a new page can be a whole lot easier. So we can click on page over here and while adding a new page, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. And you guys can see over here that we have our widgets. So over here, you can click on the Elementor libraries and you can choose a pre-existing template as well. You have some basic, you know, frames that you can get started with and you can connect to the template library on Elementor. And now customization of these particular templates can also be easier because when you are using these pre-existing templates, they're not going to have old school structures. So let's say I want a blog post section and you know this is all our sections and you know there's so much detail to this now let's say i want to edit this section i want to move the content around i don't have to do that manually because this is all present within one section over here as you guys can see with these purple lines so you can click on the individual container go into advanced and then you can see the order and you can change the order as well currently this doesn't have any content so we're not really adjusting it but let's say if i you know select the structure over here for our containers and we can go on ahead and go into this like so and now we have this added now you guys can see within this container it's not a prerequisite that i have to add an image i can add an image then i can add text and i can add images so let's say i'm gonna add we you know whatever i have to add i like to add a container first simply because it gives me more customization options now over here i can go on ahead and insert my image then in the next section let's say i want text over here then i can add another image and then i can add i can add another image and then i can add text now you wouldn't be able to customize all of this all together in one simple intersections intersections don't have this kind of customization that is going to just really help you in building everything all together without having to you know go about each individual section trying to change that and then if you click on the overarching container over here this will show you your layout the overall width of this and the height as well you can adjust that accordingly and then you have your justified content so if you want this to be spaced in the center space around space it evenly and then your alignments as well as well as your direction so if i want this to reverse the direction it will reverse the direction for me in any specific way like this as well so in this way you can get started with using elementor containers to build customizable easy to navigate and efficient sections within your wordpress website i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find this helpful make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions queries or if i miss something out and you want to tell us something leave that in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say and i will catch you guys in the next video